everyone this is mamta mon and today we learn and solve question number 1 and 2 of exercise 1b of chapter 1 chapter name is knowing our numbers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook if you have not subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog mathsdad.com for for more information regarding the solution textbook solution of states board cbse and ics let's get started and solve some questions today we we'll learn about exercise 1b questions 1 and 2 of chapter chapter name is knowing our numbers let's solve some questions now solve question number 1 question number 1 is in which order should be the four digit numbers be arranged to obtain the largest four digit number so this so largest four digit number is 9 then next digit is 8 then 7 then 6 so it will be 9000 7 on 9876 and the and the order will be descending order or decreasing order descending now we solve question number second bit what is the number of Three digit, three digit number that can be found using the digits zero, one, and five. Using the digits zero at the unit place, at the hundred place, the number will be zero, one, five, and zero, one, five can be written as one fifty. This zero has no value at the hundred place, so it will be fifteen, and fifteen is a two digit number, so it can cannot be the Three digits number, so this is wrong. And what is the number of three digits number? We have to find out the three, three digits number that can be found using the digits zero, one, and five. So we have to now we have to uh, put the digits zero, one at the hundred place, one at the hundred place, and and zero at the tens place, and five at the unit place. Then then the number will be one hundred five, and one. At the tens hundred uh, place, then five at the tens uh, place, and zero at the unit place, and then the number will be one hundred fifty. These numbers are three digits number. Then using the digits five at the hundred place and one at the tens place and zero at the unit place, and then the number will be five hundred one. And five at the Five at the hundred place, one at the tens place, and zero at the unit place, and then then the number will be five hundred ten. Five hundred one and five hundred ten are the three digits number. So the number uh, three digits number using the digits zero, one, and five are one hundred five, one hundred fifty, five hundred one, and five hundred ten. Now, third B. Write the smallest three digits number using the digits two, three, and five. We have to find the smallest three digits number using the digits two, three, and five. So the number will be two hundred thirty-five. Two at the tens, two hundred place, and three at the tens place, and five at the unit place. Then, then the number will be two hundred thirty-five. Question number four. Write the smallest four-digit numbers using the digits one, zero, and four. You can repeat any one of these digits twice. You can repeat the digits twice. Any digits we can repeat twice time, two times. So is the smallest four-digit number. If we place the zero at the thousand place, then the number will be zero. And we repeat the digits one, two times. Then the number will be zero one one four four at the unit place. 
then the number will be 0114 will be 140 and this is a three digits number so this will be this will be not possible we have to find the four smallest four digit number so smallest four digit number using the digits one zero and four will be we have to press the digits smallest digit is after zero the smallest digit is one so we have to press the one at the thousand place then zero we have to place the we have to place zero at the hundred place and zero at the tenth place and four at the unit place we have to use the digits zero two times here we, we can use the we, we can repeat any one of these digits twice it is given so we have to place the digits one at the thousand place and zero we, we repeat the digits zero two times hundred place and uh, tens place and the digits four at the unit place and the, then the number will be one thousand four now we solve question number 50 what is the largest five digit numbers with two at the unit place five at the tens place largest five digit number so largest digit is nine this is 9 then after 9 second highest will be 8 then 7 and we have to place the 5 at the tens place 5 at the tens place and 2 at the unit place 5 tens place 2 at the unit place unit place 5 tens place and 2 unit place ones place then the number will be 98752 98 98, 752. This is the answer. Largest 5 digit number with 2 at the 2 at the unit place and 5 at the tens place will be 98,752. Now we solve question number 2. Question number 2 is write all possible Write all possible three digits number without repeating the digits by using the three digits six, seven, and five. By using the digits six, seven, and five, how many possible three digits number can be found without repeating the digits? We cannot repeat the digits more than one time. So first we place the digits six at the hundred place, then seven at the tens place, and five at the unit place then the number will be 675 then 6 at the 100 place 5 at the tens place and 7 at the 100 uh, unit place and then the number will be 657 7 at the 100 place 5 at the tens place and 6 at the unit place the number will be 756 and 7 at the 100 place 6 at the tens place and 5 at the unit place then the number will be 665. Five at, if we use the number digits 5 at the 100 place, 6 at the tens place and 7 at the unit place, then the number will be 567. And 5 at the 100 place and 6 at, 7 at, at the tens place and 6 at the unit place, then, then the number will be 576. These are the six possible three three digits number three digits number can be found using the digits six, seven and five without repeating the digits. In higher class we can use this problem with the help of permutation and combination that is three multiplied by two multiplied by one is equal to 6. 6 number of ways we can write the digits using the dig using 3 digits number we can write 3 digits number. The number of all possible 3, uh, three digits number with using the digit 6, 7, 5 3 digits so the number will be 6. So there are 6 possible outcomes 6 possible 
number there are six possible numbers three digits number can be formed using the digits using the three digits 6 7 and 5 now solve question number second b Nine. Write all possible three digits number without repeating the digits by using the digits nine, zero, and two. If we place the digits zero at the hundred place and nine at the tens place and two at the unit place, then the number will be zero nine two. That is equal to ninety two, and ninety two is a two digit number. This is two digit number. And we have to find the three digits number. So it cannot be possible as 92 is a two digit number. And the num and the question we have to find out three digits number. This is three digits number and this is 92 is a two digit number. So this is not possible. And if we place the digit zero at the hundred place, two at the tens place and nine at the unit place, and then the number will be twenty-nine. And this is also two digits number. Two digits, so it will, it cannot be possible. Is we have to find out the three digits number. Now we have to, if we place the digits nine at the hundred place, zero at the tens place, and two at the unit place. Then the number will be 902 and 902 is a three digits number. And if we place the digits 9 at the 100 place, 2 at the tens place and 0 at the unit place, then the number will be 920. And if we place the digits 2 at the tens, unit, uh, 100 place, 0 at the tens place and 9 at the 100 place, then the number will be 209 and it is also a three digits number. And if we place the digits 2 at the 100 place, 9 at the tens place and 0 at the 100, uh, unit place, then, then the number will be 290 and this is also a 3 digits number. So using the digits 9, 0 and 2, the possible 3 digits number are 902, 920, 209 and 290. These are the 4 for three digits number using the digits 9, 0 and 2 without repeating the digits we can find out we can found four three digits number now we solve question number 3 question number 3 is use the given digits without repetition and make the smallest and the greatest four digit numbers now digits are given 2, 1, 5 and 6. These, these are the 4 digits given and we have, to, we have to make the smallest and the greatest 4 digit number without repetition. Without repeti repetition of these digits, we have to make the smallest and the greatest 4 digit numbers. So without repeating, repeating Without repeating the small digits, four digits, we have to first make the smallest four digit number. So smallest digit is one. This is the smallest. Smallest four digit number is one. Smallest digit is one. Then after two one, then this is two, then five, then six. So this is the smallest four digit number. Now greatest four digit number. Without repeating, 
the digits then uh, greatest digit is 6 then this is 5 then 2 then 1 so it is 6 5 2 1 6521 and smallest is 1256 Now we solve question number second B. The number, the digits, four digits are given 7, 8, 0 and 9. These are the four digits given and we have to make without repetition, we have, we have to make the smallest and the greatest four digit number. So smallest. Smallest four digit number is. Smallest digit is 0, but this is a 4 digit number, so we, we can't, we cannot uh, use the 0 at the 1000 place. After 0, the smallest digit is 7, so first starting with 7, then 7 at the 1000 place, then 0, after 7, 0, 0 at the 100 place, then 8, 8 at the tens place and 9 at the unit place that is the ones place then the number will be 7089 this is the smallest four digit number greatest Greatest four digit number is, greatest digit is 9, then after 9, the smaller number is 8, then after 8, this is 7, then 0. So, 9 at the 1000 place, 8 at the 100 place and 7 at the tens place and 0 at the ones place. The number is 9870. This is the greatest four digit number. Without repetition, the number smallest digit four digit number is 7089 and greatest four digit number is 9870. Now is on question number four. Question number four is make the greatest and the smallest greatest and the smallest four digit numbers by using any one digit twice. One digit twice we have to make the smallest and the four digit numbers. First bit is 632. Six, three, These are the three digits given and we have to make the smallest and the greatest four digit number by using any one of the digits from these num from these digits 6, 3 and 2 any one digit twice. Two times we can use from these digits 6, 3 and 2. So the so the smallest four digit number is smallest digit is two. We have to we have to use one digit twice two times. So we two if we use the digit two two times then it will be two two then three then six. This is the smallest four digit number two thousand two hundred thirty six. Then the greatest Greatest four digit number will be greatest digit is six. We have to use one digit two times. So if we use the digit six two times, then it will be six six, then three, then two. Then this will be six 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 three two. That is six thousand six hundred thirty two. Smallest four digit number is two thousand two hundred thirty six. And greatest four digit number is 6632. 
Now is our question number second bit. The digits are one, zero, and six. These are the three digits given, and we have to make the smallest and the greatest four-digit number by using any one digit twice. So the smallest smallest four digit number is the smallest digit is zero, but this is the four digit number. We cannot use the zero at the first place. So we have to use the digit one is after zero, one is the smallest digit so one then zero one thousand six this is the smallest four digit number greatest four digit number will be Greatest digit is six. Then after six, the greatest digit is. If we use the digit six two times, then it will be six six, then one, then zero. So this will this is the greatest four digit number six thousand six hundred ten. Now we solve question number five. Question number five is make the greatest and the smallest four-digit numbers using any four different digits with the condition given below. Condition is given. Condition is to, uh, digit six is always in the thousands place. So thousands place digit will be thousand place, hundred place, tens place, and ones place. Thousands place always starting with six. Digit six is always in the thousands place. This is the greatest. Greatest digit number will be six nine. Nine is the greatest digit. Then after nine eight. Then after eight seven. So this is the greatest. Four digit number. Now we have to make the smallest, smallest four-digit number using any four different digits. That is six at the six is always in the thousands place. Then in hundred place, up the smallest digit is zero. Then after zero, smallest one, then two. Then this is this is the smallest four-digit number, six thousand twelve. So the greatest four-digit number is six thousand nine hundred eighty-seven, and smallest four-digit number is six thousand two. Six thousand nine hundred eighty-seven and six thousand two. Now we solve question number second. Bit. Digit four is always in the hundred place. This is the condition given, and we have to make the Greatest and the smallest four-digit numbers by using any four different digits. Digit four is always in the hundred place. So smallest smallest four-digit number will be in thousand place, hundred place. Tens place and ones place. In thousands place, in hundred place, digit four is always in the hundred place. In hundred place, four will be. Then in smallest digit is 
zero, but we cannot use the zero at the thousand place as it is the four digit number. So after zero, the smallest digit is one. So we have to use one. We have to place one in the thousand place. Then in hundred place four. Then in tens place it will be zero. Smallest digit is zero. Then in ones place it is two. So it will be one thousand four hundred two. In the greatest four digit number. Will be four is always in the hundred place, so it will be four in hundred place. Then the greatest digit is nine, nine at the thousand place, four at, at the hundred place, and after nine, the eight is the highest digit. Then seven, then it will be nine thousand four hundred eighty seven. This is the greatest four digit number. Smallest four-digit number is one thousand four hundred two, and greatest four-digit number is nine thousand four hundred eighty-seven. Now we have to use. Now we will solve question number four digit C. Digit seven is always in the tens place. So the smallest we have to make the greatest and the smallest four-digit number. So the smallest. Smallest four-digit number will be digit seven is always in the tens place. Thousand, hundred, tens, and ones. Seven is always in the tens place. So the smallest digit is zero. After zero, it is one. So we have to place one at the thousand place. Then zero is the smallest digit at the hundred place. Seven. It is given the condition is seven is always in the tens place, so it is seven at the tens place, and after zero one the smallest digit is two. So one it is smallest four digit number will be one thousand seventy two. Now greatest four digit number will be in tens place. Seven is always in the tens place, and greatest digit is nine at the thousand place. Then after nine, the greatest digit is eight. Nine eight seven. Then after seven, the greatest digit is seven six. So it will be nine thousand eight hundred seventy six. This is the greatest four digit number. So smallest four digit number is. 1072 and greatest four digit number is 9876 now we solve question number d b digit 1 is always in the ones place so the smallest four digit number will be In thousand place, hundred, tens place, ones place. Digit one is always in the ones place. So greatest digit is nine. Then after nine, greatest digit is eight. Then after eight, greatest digit is seven. So it is small. This is the greatest. Greatest four-digit number will be nine thousand eight hundred seventy-one. Now the smallest
knowledge four digit number is digit one is always in the ones place and after one the smallest digit is zero the smallest digit is zero we, we cannot use the digit zero at the thousand place so after zero one zero one at the ones place so we have to place two at the thousand place zero at the hundred place and three at the tens place so it will be smallest four digit number that is 2031 so the greatest four digit number is 9871 one is always in the ones place and smallest four digit number will be 2031 now is our question number 6 question number 6 is how many numbers in all do we do we have with four digits how many four digit number in all so greatest um, the smallest five digit number is 10000 this is the smallest five digit number and smallest four digit number is 1000 so difference between 10000 minus 10000 and 1000 is 9000 so there are 9000 numbers of four digit numbers so answer is 9000 Now we solve question number second bit. How many six-digit number in all we have to we we can make? How many six-digit numbers in all? So the smallest seven-digit number is ten lakhs, and smallest six-digit number is. One lakhs. So the small difference between ten lakhs and one lakh is eight nine lakhs. So there are nine lakhs numbers of six digit numbers in all. So the answer is nine lakhs. Now question number one, question number seven. Write the greatest and the smallest five-digit numbers using all the following digits by using any one digits twice. First bit, six, three, eight, and two. These digits are these four digits are given. Six, three, eight, and two. We have to find. We have to write the greatest and the smallest five-digit number using all the following digits by using any one digit twice. Using uh, any One digit twice time. We have to make the greatest and the smallest five digit number. So here greatest number so greatest num greatest five digit number will be greatest digit is eight. So first write down greatest eight digit, then digit twice. If we use the digits eight. Two times, then it will be eight eight. Then six three. After eight, the greatest digit is six. After six, the greatest digit is three. After three, greatest digit is two. So the number is greatest five digit number is eighty eight thousand six hundred thirty two. Now the smallest five digit number. The smallest digit is two. If we use two two times, then two two. Then after two, the smallest digit is three. After three, smallest digit is six. After six, the smallest digit is eight. So the smallest five digit number is twenty two thousand three hundred sixty two. This is a five digit number. So greatest five digit number using the digit six three eight two. Any two digit, any one digit twice time. So, so the greatest num greatest five digit number will be eighty eight thousand six hundred thirty two, and the smallest five digit number is twenty two thousand three hundred sixty eight. Now second bit, one zero five seven. These digits are given one zero and one zero five and seven. 
we have to using these digits 1 0 5 and 7 using any any one digit two, uh, two times we have to make the greatest and the smallest five digit number here the greatest digit is 5 greatest digit is 7 so greatest five digit number will be greatest five digit number so greatest digit is 7 if we use great 7 uh, two times any one digit two times so um, if we use 7 two times then after 7 the greatest digit is 5 after 5 the greatest digit is 1 and after 1 the greatest digit is 0 so greatest five digit number is 77510 Then the smallest digit. Smallest digit is zero. If we use zero in the zero at the ten thousand place, then after zero the smallest digit is one. After one, smallest digit is zero. If we use zero here, then after zero the smallest digit is five. After five seven. Then this number is not a five digit number. This is a four digit number. One thousand fifty seven. So this will be incorrect. So um, after zero, the smallest digit is one. So if we use smallest digit one at the ten thousand place, then after one, the smallest digit is zero. If we use one, then zero. After one, the smallest digit is zero. Then after zero, the smallest digit is five, seven. So the smallest five-digit number will be eleven thousand fifty-seven. This is the smallest five-digit number. So the greatest five-digit five-digit number is seventy-seven thousand five hundred ten, and the smallest five-digit number is eleven thousand fifty-seven. Now third bit, two eight nine one. These uh, these are the four digits given. Two eight nine and one. Using these digits, two eight nine one. Any one digit two times. We have to make the greatest and the smallest five digit number. So the greatest digit is nine. If we use nine at the ten thousand place, then after nine the small greatest digit is eight. But here if we use nine two times, here any one digit two times we have to use. So if we use nine two times, then after nine the greatest digit is eight, after eight the greatest digit is two, and after two greatest digit is one. So the greatest five digit number is ninety nine thousand eight hundred twenty one. Greatest five digit number. Now the smallest digit. Smallest digit is one. If we use one. At the ten thousand place, and after one, the smallest digit is two. And if we use one two times, two times, then eleven, then one one, then after one, after one, the smallest digit is two, and after two, smallest digit is eight, after eight, smallest digit is nine. Now the smallest five digit number is eleven thousand two hundred eighty nine. Smallest five digit number. So the greatest five-digit number using the digits two, eight, nine, one, any one digit two times. So the greatest five-digit number will be ninety-nine thousand eight hundred twenty-one, and the smallest five-digit number will be eleven thousand two hundred eighty-nine. Now question number fourth with five, seven, zero, and three. We have to use these digits five, seven, zero, and three. Any one digit twice, two times. We have to make the greatest and the smallest five-digit number. So greatest digit is seven. After seven, the greatest digit is five. But we have to use the any one digit two times. So if we use seven two times, then after seven the uh, greatest digit is five. After five, the greatest digit is three, and after three, greatest digit is zero. Now the now it is a five-digit number. So greatest five-digit number is seventy-seven thousand five hundred thirty.
now we have to make the smallest five digit number the smallest digit is zero if we use zero at the ten thousand place and after and zero two times we have to use any one digit two times then after zero the digit is three smallest digit is three and if we use three at the thousand place Zero three, then after three, if we use zero at the hundred place, then after zero, the smallest digit is seven. We use zero two times, and after seven, the smallest. After zero, the smallest digit is five, and after five, the smallest digit is seven. Now it is just uh, it is not a five digit number it is a four digit number three thousand fifty seven so it is incorrect and now the smallest digit is zero after zero the smallest digit is three so you have to use three at the ten thousand place and after three the smallest digit is zero if we use zero at the thousand place then then zero if we use zero two times then three zero zero. Then after zero, the smallest digit is five. After five, the smallest digit is seven. Now it is thirty thousand fifty-seven. So the smallest five-digit number is thirty thousand fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Smallest. Smallest five-digit number. Now the smallest five-digit number is thirty thousand fifty-seven, and the greatest five-digit number is seventy-seven thousand five hundred thirty. Now question number eight, MCQ questions, multiple choice questions. The smallest five-digit numbers using two different digits. The smallest digit is zero, and after zero, the smallest digit is one. If we use zero at the ten thousand place, and after zero. Using two different digits. If we use one at the thousand place, and after one the smallest digit is zero, so if we use zero here, then it is not a five-digit number. It is a four-digit number, one thousand. So we have to use one at the ten thousand place. Then after one the smallest digit is zero, so zero, 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 and now it is a five thousand five. Now it is a five-digit number. So the smallest five-digit number is ten thousand. So option three, option option third bit that is uh, option three that is ten thousand is the smallest five-digit number using two different digits. So this is the smallest five-digit number, ten thousand using two different digits. Smallest five-digit number. So option three is the correct option. Question number nine, MCQ question. The difference between the greatest and difference between the greatest five-digit numbers and the greatest five-digit numbers with all different digits is. These are the options given. The difference between the greatest five-digit number. First, find out the greatest five-digit number. Greatest digit is nine. So we have to use if we use nine five times. Now it is the greatest five-digit number, ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. This is greatest five-digit number. Now greatest five-digit number with all different digits. All different digits means if greatest digit is nine, after nine the greatest digit is eight. After eight, the greatest digit is seven. After seven, greatest digit is six, and after six, greatest digit is five. Now it is ninety-eight thousand seven hundred sixty-five. This is the greatest five-digit number using all the different digits. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. All digits are unique, and so this is the greatest five-digit number using all different digits. This is greatest. Five digit number using different digits. Now 
now difference we have to subtract this 99,999 and 98,765 9 minus 5 is 4 and 9 minus 6 is 3 9 minus 7 2 and 9 minus 8 1 now the number is 1234 so option 4 is the correct option so the difference between the greatest five digit number and the greatest five digit number using all different digits is 1234. Option 4 is the correct option. Now question number 10. MCQ question. Multiple choice question. The sum of the smallest four digit number and the uh, four digit numbers using only one digit and the greatest four digit number is which option is the correct option? The sum first find out the smallest four digit number using only one digit. Using only one digit. So smallest digit is one. Only one digit. So all digits, all digits should be unique. So first find out the smallest digit. Smallest digit is one. After one, the smallest digit two. After two, smallest digit three. After 4, smallest digit is using only one digit. Using only one digit. So, smallest digit is 1 and uh, the question is uh, using only one digit. So, uh, we, use, we have to use 1 4 times. So, this is the smallest 4 digit number using only one digit. And the greatest four digit number is greatest four digit number is 9999 and 9 plus 1 is 10 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 9 is 11 then 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 9 11 1 1 then 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 9 11 now it is 11110 option 3 is the correct option so the sum of the smallest four digit number using only one digit and the greatest four digit number is 11,110 which is the correct option. Option 3 is the correct option. Now question number 12. High order thinking skill questions. Thoughts question. Take the digits 5 and 7 from them make four different numbers using both the digits equal number of times. So in First bit is what is the greatest number? We have to find out the greatest number using the digits 5 and 7 and both the digits should be equal number of times. So for first find out the greatest number. So between these two digits 5 and 7 we have to use two digits this 5 and 7 equal number of times. So the four digits four different numbers four digits numbers are 5, 5, 7, 7. Here 5 and 7 are repeated 2 times. Then 5, 7, 5, 7. Make 4 different numbers. Then 7, 7, 5, 5. 7, 5, 7, 5. These are the 4 different numbers using the digits 5 and 7 equal number of times. So between among these numbers the greatest number is 7755 so the greatest number is 7755 7755 so the greatest number is 7755 Now question number second bit. What is the smallest number? Using the digits 5 and 7 equal number of times. We have to use uh, we have to use 5 and 7 equal number of times. We have to make the smallest number. Five, between 5 and 7 and 7, the smallest digit is 5. If we use 5, then 5, 7, 7. This is a four digit number. Then 5, 7, 5, 7. Then 
Now the smallest uh, among these numbers, the smallest number is five five seven seven because five is at the ten at the thousand place and after ten thousand place the number digit five is at the thousand hundred place. So this is the smallest number. So the smallest number using the digits five and seven uh, equal number of times. The smallest four digit number is. Five five seven seven, five thousand five hundred five five thousand five hundred seventy seven. Now question number third bit. What is the number of different numbers that can be formed in all using the digits five and seven equal number of times? Using the digits five and seven equal number of times, the numbers are five five seven seven, seven seven five five. Seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, five, seven, then five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, seven, five. So the number of different numbers can be formed using the digits five and seven equal number of times. The numbers uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six six numbers. So there are six different numbers can be formed using the digits five and seven equal number of times. These are the six numbers. Six different numbers using the digits five and seven equal number of times. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt, then please write in comment section, and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.